miles long. This new tunnel is about 1,800 feet long. It flows from here, uh, the very end of Rathbone Street, by this route mark by the produce area, yeah. and flows. In, uh, we meet up at the very end of the existing tunnel uh, behind the foundry complex. Well, the whole program is for the combined sewer overflow program. What happens is the storm sewer and the sanitary sewer, where you flush your toilets, is, is combined. So when it rains, the system overflows. And instead of all being treated at the treatment plant, it overflows into the rivers, the Wanoska, Tuktuk, Mahassuk, and the Seekonk River. Uh, what this does, it directs all, whenever there's a heavy rain, instead of overflowing to the rivers, it will all go to the big tunnel, it will be stored. The tunnel stores about 60 million gallons. So after the rain ends, the treatment plant can pump it out as the plant has capacity, treat it, and release it into, uh, release it into the harbor again, uh, and fully treated. <laughs> said this is the biggest public works project you'll never see and that's very very accurate huge amount of uh, construction work and mining work being done but you never see it uh, phase one was 350 million dollars uh, phase two is 200 million dollars so up to 550 million dollars of uh, improvements to Narragansett Bay water quality but also good jobs these uh, a lot of Rhode Islanders here working here uh, good paychecks good benefits and getting some overtime uh, and cleaning up the bay uh, so uh, this is an unfortunate, I guess, uh, retrofit of the old uh, stormwater and sewage water being combined, and we had to fix it, and uh, we're cleaning up the bay and providing good jobs as we do that.